What is up, amigos? Today we have the aerodynamics of Bosnia and Herzegovina, and this comes at the request of one of your amigos called Cascave El Dorado 4864. And we have the planes here cut downstream. We can see that Bosnia and Herzegovina is quite draggy, as you'd expect. There is a massive wake there. However, I think Bosnia and Herzegovina are probably best known for back in 2021, 23 citizens decided to dig a hole to China. They got one foot into the ground and then got tired and then went home. But the drag coefficient of Bosnia and Herzegovina is 1.1. 5, 5. Now, how does this compare to Germany, which we did about a week ago? Well, Germany's drag coefficient was 1.09, 6% less than Bosnia and Herzegovina. So Germany is more aerodynamic than Bosnia and Herzegovina by about 6%. But the lift coefficient of Bosnia and Herzegovina is quite impressive. It's actually 0.16. So Bosnia and Herzegovina is producing a lot of lift. And this is probably due to this triangular shape, which kind of looks like Texas. You can see the wake breaks down quite quickly and there is like this kind of shape propagates through a little bit. Let's look at the drag now. Interestingly, the sub drag here, you can see that the shape sort of starts off quite similar to the geometry, that triangular shape. But by the third plane downstream, it's effectively approximated a cylinder surgical. And then it breaks down into just random uh, chaos because it's turbulent up of that. The drag, you can see at the top around the rims, probably there's a lot of greater concentration of higher drag. So this Y plan is going through about the middle section of Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's more towards like the right, the left corner, I guess you'd say the west corner of this country. And the wake is huge. There's quite a lot of recirculation behind, like you can see, if you go like probably four to five Bosnia and Herzegovina downstream, you still get a lot of recirculation going like back into the country, into the backside of it. And then once you get past there, it starts to die down and goes much more streamlined. So with this plane and the sub drag plotted, it's pretty cool because you can see like on the top and bottom, about one Hertz governor and Bosnia Hertz governor downstream, there's this consistent roll up of this really red um, sub drag. So that's a very draggy part there. This is probably just due to, the, due to the edges of the geometry. And then inside, like closer to the country and like in the wake, it's a bit more orange. So now we have a Z plane right at the bottom of Bosnia Hertz governor. So that little tip. And I'm a little bit surprised at how big the wake is here. I mean, I expect it to be quite big but it really like fans out quite aggressively. So this little tip here, even though it's very small in terms of its geometric, like its cross-sectional area, I think it's producing a lot more drag and a lot more wake than what it could be doing. So if you were to like cut that bit off the country, it would probably be a little bit more aerodynamic, I think. And this sub drag really shows just how much drag is being produced. You can see there's a, a, a lot of peaks in the red. So like just around this little point here, periodically there's just all these like little red parts and that's really high drag being produced. It's up to 1.8. For the drag coefficient. So that's a very draggy uh, position here. So now we have a Z plane going through the midsection of Bosnia and Herzegovina, so like the sort of the part where the second triangle, the second point of the triangle is. And yeah, okay, the wake is very big, but is it as big considering how big the cross sectional area is compared to that tip that we just saw? That tip being so small still has a, a massive wake. This being a large cross sectional area has a large wake too, but it's considerably, relatively speaking, better in my opinion. And that's probably why, actually, let's talk about the sub-drag first, and then we'll talk about the comparison between Germany and Bosnia and Herzegovina. So the sub-drag here is quite bad, but again, considering that it is such a big cross section area, it's not as bad as that TIF, I think. And that's probably why I think Bosnia and Herzegovina has a 6% greater drag option than Germany. If you had that, like, Germany doesn't have any of those, like, little points coming out. So if you had those ones on Germany, it would probably be worse. And I think to get Bosnia Herzegovina to be more aerodynamic than Germany, you need to cut off that point there and maybe the like west tip as well. So that's it in this video. Make sure to like, subscribe. And if you want to get better at CFD and or theory yourself, check out our course and links. And I'll see you next video. Peace, amigos.